Yellow, this is Delusional Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. For today's video, I have a little guide that has to do with one of the things that I showcased in the last video that I made, having to do with what Kanan Trench has showed us in one of his tournaments. In the tournament video, you can see that Kane decides to go for this particular type of setup. He does this. And then once the opponent gets right back up from a side Okeme, he will then go into Kencho stance and then go into forward one. Now the reason why he does this is that he, for one, if the opponent doesn't block, he can actually manage to get a wall splat depending on the angle or axis that he's in when trying to apply Kencho forward one into the full complete hit. But if the opponent blocks it, of course, you get a bit of chip damage. Now, this is actually enhanced while you're in your no sword stance. As you can see, a significant amount of chip damage is done to the opponent if you're in no sword stance. Now, why would you go for this particular setup? Well, I started to experiment more with this setup and see exactly what else can I get with this besides just going for chip damage. For one, you can go for some wall splat or re-splat setups against the opponent while they're blocking to get some pretty gnarly setups with his unblockables. This can also be performed best while you're in your no sword sense since the windmill unblockable is actually faster. And if you don't want to go for that one, since it's a little more difficult to actually execute, you can go for Poison Breath instead. Now all this really does for you as a Yoshimitsu player is that if the opponent decides not to attack you because they manage to reach splat towards the wall, and you're plus 11 when doing this, you can then try to check them. You don't have to immediately go for the unblockables. For example, if the opponent decides to retaliate immediately and react to your attempt to going into your unblockables, you can just go into your one or even your down forward one to check them to see whether or not if they're going to then press either a dig jab or immediately get up into a wolf standing attack to try to catch you off guard, depending on how they wake up from the setup. Of course, you can also attempt to go into your unblockable Samurai Cutter as well. But then again, it's slower, so you can try to go for this if they are expecting your Poison Breath or expecting your Windmill, especially if you're in your normal Sword Stance. Since the no Sword Stance, if you're going for the Windmill, they can actually duck it and then evade the move completely. Though in my opinion, it's real use is when in combos, you can get a lot of damage than your usual BNB combos against the opponent. You get 78 damage if you perform this particular combo, but how much damage do you get if you were to apply a bit more chip damage instead? You actually get a bit more damage if you were to then hit the opponent with your Kensho into forward one while you're in your no sword stance, and you can deal significant amounts of damage since the chip damage is still considered to be damaged in the end of the day. As long as the opponent doesn't end up attacking you in retaliation or getting into a combo so they can gain regain the white health that they essentially have inf been inflicted with, then you're pretty much in a situation where you're going to be dealing even more damage to the opponent than if you were going for a regular combo. Now, if we were to assume that while you're trying to then continue your attempt to attack the opponent with all that white chip health that you already inflicted on them if you were to go for command grabs or go for moves that have a high possibility of removing a lot of white health you could legitimately take down the opponent faster by simply doing this instead than having to go with an actual natural bnb combo 
And just like with the other particular moves you can use against the opponent towards the wall, if you want to check them or go for your unblockables, doing even this particular setup as well can also be very favorable if you're towards the wall. If by chance they try to duck you to then see, let's say for example they want to go for a big launch, but you do 2-1, the last hit of the 1, if they don't retaliate immediately, will then manage to resplat them. Now, of course, I can't really give you a proper demonstration of it, but if the brine didn't really block that interaction, they will get resplatted by the 2-1. As you can see right there. Now, the resplat isn't continuous in the sense that they don't really stay stuck to the wall. They just hit the wall and then they drop right back down to the ground. But at least you got a bit of Oki right there where you're able to then initiate some other particular type of setup against the opponent. So in the end, this video has to do with the Kanan Trench wall chip damage combo that you can do with Yoshimitsu and the follow-up experimentations that I've figured out with this setup with Yoshimitsu. You can do what you will with this setup, you don't have to rely heavily on it if you don't want to. You still have your other setup you can use, like the ones that allow you access to Samurai Cutter, Windmill, and so forth, that give you more Oki in reality. But this setup I feel is quite strong in its own way as well, since again, the primary use of this setup is to try to get enough chip damage against the opponent. And again, in a game where chip damage can be very favorable to your side if you manage to hit them enough times with chip damage, that once they have low enough health, just one single hit it will just take them down. And even if not, if you do deal enough chip damage against the opponent by using grabs, by using other attacks that can eliminate all that white health that you inflicted on them, you will then have a bigger lead and a bigger advantage of winning the game. So with that being said, I hope that this video has helped. This is a new, I guess, particular setup you can do with Yoshimitsu. I don't know if it's new or old, but seeing that it's something that I've seen with Kanan Trench's setups, I thought to maybe call it like, like a Kanan Trench wall combo setup, I guess, if anything. Yeah, whatever you might, what you want to call it. So with that out of the way, if you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe and you see more of my shit. Hit the notification bell if you want any new content to arrive to your little in what you may call it to your phones to your desktop. You might see it in the right on the left corner, maybe in the top left corner of the, uh, the HUD or whatever the case is. You'll get the notifications. So stay safe, stay tuned.